What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now then, I'm just sat in my car. I'm sat outside of my house on the drive and I wanted to make this video today. And basically it's going to be a video explaining about the most annoying common problem on the Vauxhall Corsa. So if you own a Vauxhall Corsa, you'll be aware of the many common problems that they seem to have. Now, a lot of them can be fixed by just simply replacing, you know, the part, you know, you might be replacing it for an upgraded one, like, for example, the uh, gear linkage, which um, I've made a video on, you know, there is a, um, a plastic rod, if you just simply upgrade that for the, um, for the metal rod, it seems to kind of cure the problem. Now the problem that I'm going to be talking about today is not a problem that can be fixed in a sense because I don't really see how it can. It's not as if you can upgrade the part. It's not like a mechanical problem. Um, it's, it's a thing that's in the body work. It's on the outside of the car and um, I really see it as a de design fault because um, they obviously haven't tested the car in real world situations, um, you know, when designing it and whatever else. But I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to take you to the outside of the car. I'm going to show you the part in question. Now then, the part in question is this piece of trim that goes round the uh, front wings. They do have them on the rear wings, but they don't really seem to be a problem there. But it's this piece of trim here. And for whatever reason, these clips that hold it to the wing do not want to stay on. And it can just be pulled off so easily. And so a lot of people end up losing these, you know, when they're going 70 mile an hour down the motorway, which isn't a good thing. Now, I'm going to show you something. I literally came out here today to record this video. And then I noticed one thing. This side has came off without me even touching it. And uh, I'm pretty sure I've replaced either one side or both sides of these because they fell off. I lost them on the road, wherever it was. And um, so I had to replace them. Now, the problem is you know, if you if they are secured properly, if they have all the clips in and whatever else, they should hold. But if you are traveling in the rain, you're going through a big puddle or whatever, I'm pretty sure the rain manages to get behind the wing and like pushes through these holes, so pushes the clips out. And then what you end up happening is this just flaps around until obviously it snaps the clips and then it just like goes flying off down the road. But um, I'm going to take both of these off today. I'm going to attempt to secure them properly. I don't know if I'm going to tiger seal them on or just try and refit the clips or whatever else. But yeah, it's got to be the most annoying problem because it's like there isn't a proper fix for them. Okay then, so because I've got lowering springs on, I actually can't access the nuts that um, attach to these uh, two little screws. There's one there, there's another one there. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure there's just two screws and I can't access the nuts. can't get a socket on them um, because my uh, wheel arch gap isn't big enough to get a ratchet behind there. So I'm going to jack the car up take these out, take all of them out, take this completely off and uh, then we'll see what's up. Right, so here's what we're working with then. How I said there was uh, two screws, one there, one there. The rest are actually clips. 
and uh, yeah so the rest of the clips these two are screws now this holder I don't know how well you can see that is actually broke this one is on the verge of breaking so if these screws come out of here essentially there's going to be nothing holding the screw to this so I need to find a way of securing the screws into this plastic I'm going to try and um, glue them in I did try and do it before but that was when it was still on there so it wasn't like ideal I'm going to take the screws out get some glue and uh, try and properly seat and glue the screws into here and uh, make sure all these clips are in the right place and then just go ahead and uh, try and fit it back on but wish me luck I guess okay then so here's how we're looking at the moment then so I've actually gave this whole thing a clean well at least uh, in the areas that we're going to be gluing and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is try and repair this little screw holder that's quite loose there so I'm going to apply a bit of glue to see if we can salvage that and then I think what I'm going to do is put a bit of glue inside of these things and then I guess just like slide the screws in and then see how we get on with that um, but yeah I'm not really too confident if I'm honest but I guess we'll give it a go we've got the uh, hot glue gun dripping already and uh, yeah we'll get cracking anyway I don't like hot glue guns. You might be better off with the tiger seal if I've got some. Okay then, so we couldn't actually find the uh, tiger seal, but what we did find was this silicone sealant. Now, I know it's obviously not the most ideal stuff, but I've actually had um, good experiences with this in the past, and uh, there's like probably a third left in this. So I thought I may as well at least give it a go. And uh, so what I've done is I've literally just like bunged a whole load of it in uh, both of these areas. I'm going to try and um, slide these screws in and then uh, see how we fare. This screw doesn't seem to want to go in as easy, which is strange because that Oh, there we go. Okay then, so we have both screws in. And uh, what I'm going to go and do is position this on the car just to make sure they're in the right place. And then if they are, once I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and put a load more sealant just around it just to um, really make sure that these are going to stay in place once the sealant sets. Okay then, so I've just checked on the car and these seem to line up with the holes. There is a little bit of play in the holes anyway, like they're not, a, you know, the, they're not the exact size of the screws. But I'm going to go ahead, put a whole load more sealant just around these to really make sure that they uh, stay in place. Hopefully. Okay then, so we've put a decent amount of sealant around these screws now and uh, while this at least dries just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead to the car and take the other side off and um, see what we're working with on that one. Okay then, so I just started jacking this side up and I was just inspecting behind here, inspecting the clips. Now, 
what I noticed was the two screws and nuts they haven't actually came undone they're actually still good what's made this one come apart fail is that clip there the last clip that's actually snapped so that's not going that's not seating in the hole but the rest of them are actually good now i don't want to disturb these in case i do break them so what i'm going to attempt to do is just remove this bottom clip and uh, replace that if i have some spare ones but that's probably probably going to be a task in itself just trying to get this out without breaking this around but we'll give it a go okay then so quick little update managed to get the old broken clip off and i've got one of the clips from the other side the side that we're letting set with the sealant so i'm going to go ahead and slot this in there and then we should be good with this one Okay, so all of the clips are in. Not really convinced with this one up here, but seems to be fairly secure, at least at the bottom and at the top here where them two screws are. So I'm gonna say this side is done. Let's go back in the garage and see how it's getting on with the dry-in. Now then, here's how we're looking with the sealant and the screws. As you can see, they look like they're drying pretty well. Um, but I don't want to disturb them and I'm not sure if I've got a clip yet to fill that empty one now um, but I need to check up my loft to see if there's any old course apart see if I can salvage an old clip off an old one of these um, but what I'm going to do is obviously the driver's side's done I'm just going to leave this side as it is for now and then until I find a new clip, that will be when I, um, you know, go ahead and try and reinstall this and then just hope that those screws stay in there without falling out. Okay then guys, so I am back. It is the next day now. Did manage to go up the loft and managed to find some more of these little clips off my old Corsa. And uh, so I've put it on the um, trim piece that we uh, attempted to repair yesterday and I'll just show you what the uh, screws are looking like in it it's obviously not the best job but it actually seems like it's working so far so you know they're not too wobbly in there so hopefully fingers crossed this is going to hold so we'll go ahead sit this in the car and then we'll put the uh, with a little plastic nuts on and then hope it just holds on. Okay, and so I'll just show you how it's looking like, how it's sitting on the car. And it actually sits a lot flatter than it did before. 
but my only concern is because the nuts on the back of these screws are only plastic obviously that you can only tighten them up so much so you know whether or not they're going to stay on there time will obviously tell um, but yeah we've got all the clips in like I said it seems to be on a lot flatter so it's just going to be a case of waiting to see you know what happens when we go through a puddle see if it flies off again um, but yeah I'm just hoping that this has kind of done the trick but yeah I guess time will tell okay then so that is another little job done on the Corsa of course if you do want to see more videos like this you know where I am if you have enjoyed this please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in that next video. Peace!